Today on the channel, I got a Western shirt on. That can only mean one thing. Best of 2022 list. And today on the channel, we're counting down my top five Marvel Legends Build-A-Figures of 2022. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another best of 2022 countdown list and today we're counting down my top five Marvel Legends Build-A-Figures of 2022 of course via Hasbro an interesting one here today as Build-A-Figures are some of the crown jewels of the Marvel Legends Hasbro line but I gotta say 2022 seemed to be a very light down year as far as Build-A-Figures go I think we've had other years that have had many many Build-A-Figures that were Better than some of the ones we got in 2022, to be honest with you. It didn't seem like we got the amount of Build-A-Figures as years passed and maybe some of the big-time players as a Build-A-Figure as years passed. And I think some of that has to do with some of the fan channel, store exclusives like Walmart, Target, uh, online exclusives, Hasbro Pulse exclusives, retro-carded figures, things like that. So a lot of stuff that maybe would have possibly fit into a Build-A-Figure wave was moved into a different way of doing things. And it seems like, I wouldn't say the Build-A-Figures are going away. There's just not as much attention and excitement, and that's the key, excitement on Build-A-Figures as in years past. But we still did get some this year. We did get more than five, so we can do a top five list. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this very video. So I'm going to ask you, as I always do, remember this is my list, this is my top five, and I'll give my reasons for them across the list as well, but make sure you put your list in the comments down below and uh, let me know your thoughts and make sure you put them in order. That is the challenge, that is the fun part. So without further ado, let's kick it off at number five. All right, we kick off the top five and of course number five in our top five build the figures of 2022. And this one goes all the way back to the beginnings of 2022. And this was one of the rare surprises in the toy industry. A lot of stuff, of course, gets shown, gets leaked, gets announced well before it hits the stores. Well, this just surprised all of us. Uh, there, I remember vividly sitting on my couch on a Sunday and somebody in Georgia or something found this case and this was the first time the whole world found out about this wave. And then I remember going first thing Monday morning to a Walmart by my office and lo and behold, what's sitting there on the top of the pallet but the case of these figures. I picked them up, uh, walked right through the register, bought them like normal and uh, reviewed them of course like normal as well. But then we do know the very next day what happened was they were register locked. So nobody could buy these for another couple of weeks or whatever it was. So it was a really interesting thing. I was very fortunate, right place, right time to be able to get this one and this was from the Thor Love and Thunder wave if you remember the surprise of that one the build a figure being Korg and I remember thinking at first ah, Korg we already kind of had Korg before no kind is about it we did get him as part of a two-pack uh, many years before I was like ah, is Korg a good build a figure and the verdict's still a little bit out on that one here but this one did uh, blow away my expectations a little bit as I was very down on this being the Build-A-Figure. But once I got it together, it really did grow on me. I do really like the character in the movie, so that always does help. But we get more than our previous version of Korg. A gladiator-looking Korg. This one, he's dressed up a little bit more. He's got some kind of blue jeans on. He's got furry boots and a furry top. He's got arm gauntlets. He's got thigh gauntlets. He's got a big old belt going on. He's got a weapon. There's a lot to like about this one, and as I always say, the Build-A-Figures do really feel, I know it's not the case, but they do feel like a free throw-in. You buy all these figures, you get these pieces, you build it together, it does feel like a free figure, even though we know that's not totally the case. Uh, but Korg, is it the most exciting Build-A-Figure? No, it's the fifth most exciting of 2022, maybe 50th in the history of Build-A-Figures, but it's still a cool figure, and that's why he came in at the bottom of my list, but he still came in it. At number five is the Korg Love and Thunder Build-A-Figure. All right, we're at the number four spot of the countdown here. And the number four Build-A-Figure, you can currently pick up at Target, maybe even some Walmarts right now if you want to build this one. And you long gamers, uh, you deal savers, you guys that are looking for deals, there's going to be some deals for this one, as I do expect this set to be on hot sales for the end of the year and clearance come beginning of the year. What Build-A-Figure wave are we talking about? 
Well, we're talking about the controller. The controller coming in at number four. Now, I got to be honest, I said it in the review, I don't even know the controller. I think I've probably heard of him. I don't remember ever reading a comic book with him. Just one of those characters I just don't know anything about. But I did stick him on my Avengers shelf in my collection. He's battling Captain America and some of those guys. Uh, and this, of course, a lot of people are like, this is just a reused Thanos figure, which it does share a lot of similarities with Thanos, but a few differences as well. I really do like the hand here with the disc. That is very cool. I do love the head sculpt on this one. It's a very menacing, mean, evil head sculpt. But what I really like the most about this is I like the size. Of course, build a figures to me, they got to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more special. And you're going to see a theme of that in this list. But the coloring on this one, I love the baby blue against the shiny metallic blue. Uh, just a very, very good looking figure that makes you want to know more about the character. And that's not a bad thing in any toy line we ever talk about. So controller, a little bit of a deep cut, kind of represents the year of 2022 and build a figures a little bit, a little bit deeper cuts, of course. But this controller, a very, very good figure standing alone on its own. And that's why he comes in at number four in my top five list. All right, we're at the halfway point in our top five countdown. Do you got your list together? Make sure you put it in the comments down below. And while you're here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We got top 10, top five countdown lists all the time and every single Thursday on the channel as well outside of the best of list. So you want to check those out. Uh, as well. So there you go. So number three is another one, a character I was not aware of, didn't know about. Hopefully soon, very soon, I'll find out a little bit more as I have yet to watch the Moon Knight Disney Plus series. So you probably know who I'm talking about. Coming in at number three is Conchu. Clown Shoe? Conchu? Uh, who knows? Who knows? But we do got his build a figure right here. Uh, this one caught me by surprise when I put him together. As I would, I knew what he looked like. I just wasn't expecting him to be as big as he is, and especially with that big staff here, the big beaked out head, something looking straight out of ancient Egypt, like Osiris and all those guys. Just a very, very cool looking figure. And the height on this one is what really brings this into the list. And like I said earlier, build a figures. We got to have some size, some substance to the figures, and that's what we get with Conchu here a very good looking one a very cool figure and that's why he's coming in at number three on my top five list all right we're down to my final two in my top five build the figures of 2022 list and number two once again we go to the mcu we go all the way back earlier on into 2022 as we go to the dr strange wave and we get Rintron. Now, you guys know, if you follow this channel for any length of time, you know I love my hairy bipedal creatures, especially a big uh, bull like Rintra here. Now, Rintra, a bit of a deep cut, as we're seeing a theme this year in the build of figures. Uh, but this is one of those ones where, as usual, the figures come out well before the movie. And a lot of us said, oh, man, Rintra is going to have a big time player. He's going to make a big impact in this movie. He's probably going to be the new leader of the Avengers down the line. Well, none of that really Really checked out as he was in a pretty quick scene there he came and went as fast as he went as fast as he came basically as long story short uh, so really not a whole lot to this one and almost in some people's mind might be a waste of a build a figure but to me it is a deep cut character but it is a cool looking character take him out of the movies take him out of everything else for me in my list i love a big figure i love a hairy bipedal creature something about the big horns on him here the green skin tone or i guess the green fur more like it and then the just the body and the robe just a very cool looking figure you can't beat something like this i really do like the looks of it i do wish he had more screen time i think it would have been made maybe make that movie a little bit more interesting than it was if we had a little bit more rintra in it but a very, very cool figure and a deep cut. And one of these ones, I think, down the road might be one that's pretty sought after here. And that's why Rintra comes in at number two in my top five list. All right, here we are. We're at the number one spot in our top five build the figures of 2022. Do you got your list together? Put it in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the old notification bell as every single Thursday we do a countdown list. And then, of course, we are at the end of the year. So we're counting down everything we talk about on the channel. And we're going to find out truly who is the best of the best in 2022. So now we're at the number one spot. And there was no doubt in my mind this was number one from the get-go. Uh, one of my most anticipated figures uh, for this year. And one I counted last year. I did a video of... My most wanted Marvel Legend figures, and he was right at the top of the list. So I was very excited to hear him announce this week. 
What are we talking about? We're talking about the Marvel Legends X-Men wave. We're talking about Bone Breaker. Now, as a small child, I talked about this in the review we did on this. As a small child, I, of course, collected the Toy Biz X-Men figures. Absolutely loved all those. Bone Breaker was a very cool one at the time. And I told the story on the channel about how it was the last gift my mom ever bought for me before I died. She bought me like four Bone Breaker figures for Christmas. I remember opening the first one. Yes, Bone Breaker. Awesome. Opening the second one, thinking it's going to be a different X-Men figure, things like that. It's Bone Breaker again. Next package, Bone Breaker again. Uh, my mom didn't understand, I think, action figures very well <laughs> at the time. I don't know. But yeah, it always sentimental to me whenever I looked to that Bone Breaker figure. I always remember that was the last Christmas I ever had with my mom uh, as a kid. I also remember the last uh, figure she ever got me being the Bone Breaker. So really sentimental, very cool. And I always think back whenever I hear the name Bone Breaker, obviously, to that moment. Like, I think most people would. But besides all that stuff, even if that didn't exist, he'd probably be number one on my list anyways because how cool is a half-man body cyborg animatronic type dude with a tank as legs? I mean, come on. What more could you absolutely want here? Just very cool. Got the big old gun. Of course, the tank. I love the face on him, the mohawk, the glasses that can go up. Just an all-around cool figure you cannot go wrong with. Just so, so cool. I'm so happy they made this here in 2022 for us the old Marvel Legends line uh, can't beat this one and that's why he's number one on my top five best of 2022 build a figure list and i'm gonna ask you guys again what say you put your list down below and don't forget about the patreon channel here on the channel the Patreon channel here on the channel? Sure, why not? But don't forget about the Patreon. We get early access to videos like this, bonus videos, monthly Q&As, giveaways, you name it. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget to hit me up on social media. Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the top five Build-A-Figures from Marvel Legends in 2022, I am Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.